This town is situated on French territory in South America. Here we find tropical climate, extensive beaches, dense rainforest, and Europe's gateway to space. Today, we take a closer look at Kourou, home to Europe's spaceport in French Guiana. Welcome to Earth from Space. Located around 60 kilometers northwest of the capital Cayenne, Kourou is a coastal town in the north-central part of French Guiana, an overseas department of France. The town lies at the estuary of the Kourou River, which, after its journey of 144 kilometers, empties into the Atlantic Ocean. Its muddy waters appear brown in this image captured by Copernicus Sentinel-2 most likely due to sediments picked up from the surrounding forest. Long, white, sandy beaches line the town's ocean coast, while the riverbank and inland area consists mostly of mangrove and dense tropical rainforest. Just northwest of Kourou lies Europe's spaceport, chosen in 1964 by the French government as a base from which to launch satellites and currently home to ESA-developed rocket families, Ariane and Vega. As Kourou lies just 500 kilometers north of the equator, it's ideally placed for launches into orbit, as the rockets gain extra performance thanks to a slingshot effect from the speed of Earth's rotation. In addition, there is no risk of cyclones or earthquakes. This launch base and the jungle that surrounds it covers 690 square kilometers, and protects an abundance of wildlife and plants. From here, the largest and most powerful telescope ever launched into space, the James Webb Space Telescope, is scheduled for launch on Ariane 5. After liftoff, it will embark on a month-long journey to its destination, around one and a half million kilometers from Earth. Following the footsteps of the Hubble Space Telescope, Webb is designed to answer questions about the universe, and to make breakthrough discoveries in all fields of astronomy. The telescope will be able to detect infrared light generated by galaxies as they formed more than 13.5 billion years ago, in the aftermath of the Big Bang. Webb will see farther into our origins, from the universe's first galaxies, to the birth of stars and planets, to exoplanets. In the first month after launch, Webb will unfold its sunshield, which is around the size of a tennis court, and deploy its 6.5-meter primary mirror. This will be used to detect the faint light of distant stars and galaxies, with a sensitivity of a hundred times greater than that of Hubble. And this brings us to the end of the last edition for this year. But join us again in January for more Earth from Space. From everyone in the Earth Observation team, we wish you all a merry holiday season and a happy new year.